Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan. Today we're checking out a place we've never been to called Pulp. It's a little smoothie place, they got breakfast food, all kinds of stuff like that. We usually go to a place called Robex, yeah. but uh, there's not many of them around anymore where we're at. This place is kind of hopping and getting popular, so we ordered a couple shakes. We're going to talk about them, see how they are, right dude? Yes. We got some like peanut butter super shake thing. It's about $15 for two large. Check them out, see how they are. All right, so what's your opinion, buddy? What do you think? It's really good. Peanut butter, I mean, pretty basic uh, shake that you would get places. They give, do give you a big, huge styrofoam cup. Um, for the most part, I mean, we make smoothies at home. We make gigantic smoothies at home that have tons of fruits and vegetables. Uh, we put in flaxseed. We put in all the stuff. At places like this, you have to then add, it's like 50 cents, you know, to add certain things and stuff. I mean, overall, most of these places are exactly the same. I'd probably say this place is exactly like Robix. I mean, these two like shakes. Too. Yeah, these two shakes cost fifteen, sixteen dollars with tax and stuff. Um, we we could make this much at home for a third of that. Right so now. for the convenience, I mean, it's okay. What you do have to tell them, you have to be careful. These kind of places, like you know how we add cocoa powder to ours, they use like Hershey's chocolate syrup. So you know they, they add a lot of. I told them to take it real easy, just a tiny bit of that. The problem is a lot of these people put a lot of sugar. They put honey. They put agave nectar. They put you know chocolate syrup. So all you really have to do is you have to kind of look at the menu instead of just ordering something. Just kind of be aware of that. You know if you don't if you're vegan like we are, you could tell them just soy protein instead of whey protein. And they do have a lot of options. Uh, we told them no yogurt, and they added an extra banana to make up for the thickness. That was cool. Um, and yeah, they used very, soy milk. Very thick and creamy. They also have some pretty good vegan cookies in there that are also gluten free for two fifty. So they do have a lot of convenient stuff that you could grab on the way to work. But again, if you grab a decent, I mean, if you if you eat or drink a lot like us, you know, I mean, you're going to drop seven or eight bucks for breakfast for something like this where. You know, in our opinion, that's pretty expensive when you can make one at home for easily half that and, and, and get twice as much. So, you know, again, it's for convenience, it's pretty good. They do have a lot of options. You just have to be careful to read the menu. If you have food intolerances, you have to look. And they will substitute pretty much anything without charging you. But if you get additional things, you know, they, they do charge you for that. But overall, I mean, it's a pretty nice little place. Uh, a lot of young people working here, but they were, they were pretty nice and uh, they, were, they were cool and attentive. And uh, it's a nice little place. We, we came out here because they're playing music in there and you can't really hear it's anything. It's really cold. Yeah, and it is cold, so we're going to go inside the car. But, uh, you know, overall, it's a, it's a good place. The only thing is, is a lot of places like this, is if you, if you drink this here, they don't have a place to recycle it. So, as always, we always encourage people, take these things home or keep them in your car. Even if we were to drink this inside here and hang out and, you know, use the Wi-Fi and YouTube or whatever we were doing, we would still take the cup home and put it in our recyclable container. Um, you know at home and we do encourage people to do that and uh, some places re recycle styrofoam some don't ours does our city does we can actually just take this whole thing throw it right in our recyclable container uh, some do some don't and so you have to be, be aware of that if you only recycle plastic and not styrofoam you could say hey can you please put that in a plastic cup for me and they will so you know you just it would be nice if places like this had an actual trash can in their place where they recycled it themselves. Um, but again, that's getting more and more common. So pretty cool, right, buddy? Yeah. So yeah, we give it a thumbs up, but again, obviously try to make it at home. Or, uh, you know, and then, you know, you can do a card type of situation where you have a frequency and you get a free one every now and then. Lots of places like that do this too. So anyway, check it out. It's pretty good. Pretty much just like most of these places, they're all pretty much the same in our opinion. Not really much different. You just have to be aware of what you're ordering. But uh, pretty delicious right after a workout to just drink this on the way home very convenient yeah. definitely has um, more nutrition than getting a sausage egg and cheese McMuffin or something of that nature right that's for sure so um, check us out every Wednesday we do wellness Wednesdays check out our channel make sure you subscribe for future notifications and make sure you do what buddy hit, the bell for notifications. hit that bell so you know when something's coming up we'll see you next time guys take care